The fantasy art of Oliver Fry was a Kickstarter that was started in April of this year in 2016. And the goal of the Kickstarter was to extend the original book in, into an extended edition in, and include some perks uh, if enough cash was raised. A history of the man behind the art as well as a huge collection of stunning imagery produced for the likes of Crash, ZZap, 64 and Amtix. The Kickstarter earned 26,440 pounds to bring the project to life with 520 backers and of course yes I was one of them. And really I had forgot about this <laughs> and it just arrived in the mail and I was kind of pleasantly surprised and you can see here if once they reached a stretch goal of 25,000 pounds all the backers receive a copy of the ZX Spectrum, the little book, which is a really cool book that um, I'll show you here in a minute. And then the 20,000 pound mark, everyone gets a little badge pack of these little pins, and those are pretty cool too. So, And we were lucky enough to receive those today. This book is being offered still for sale for those of you who missed the Kickstarter on FusionRetroBooks.com and so for £25 you can get a copy of the book and for £8.99 you can get a copy of the ZX Spectrum little book of ZX Spectrum games and it covers a ton of games it's really really worth it and then Oliver Fry's website optionally is available here at OliverFryArt.com. You can learn all about the kind of art that he does. Reading from the foreword of the book, just before we get into the biography, Oliver Frey is still uncomfortable with being referred to as an artist. He calls himself a commercial illustrator. Yet despite the modesty of the term, he has entertained and often inspired generations with his unique vision of the world. His prolific output is definitely of a fantastic nature, although the imagery is almost always bound to a sense of reality. The stretch goals were if they were to hit 20,000 pounds or euros, then it would, they would ship with these Retrofusion book pins and to all backers and apparently they hit that stret that that mark and they did the little book of Sinclair ZX Spectrum games by Chris Wilkins in order to hit this stretch goal they needed 25,000 euros and overall um, their Kickstarter earned over 26,000 pounds or euros I know they're not interchangeable, but <laughs> that's what's on the website is pounds. The book here by the fantasy art of Oliver Fry is broken into a, a very nice biography of the early years of Oliver Fry. Um, the first 20 or so pages covers his biography. It's really good, really interesting to learn all about Oliver Fry here. And then it's broken into the following sections here. Monsters and Aliens on page 34. So it starts off here with the Monsters and Aliens and you get to see basically his artwork that he did covering that genre. And then it goes into Space Maneuvers on page 56 and the space maneuvers are cool. Um, lots, I love the artwork that, that, that um, Oliver Fry has done. It's really cool. And I'm a, I'm a big fan of fantasy, so this is really neat. And then it goes on to a chapter called Me Mechanical Mayhem on page 74. And so, yeah, you can see what they, <laughs> how they categorized this book. Really, really cool artwork. And then after that is the gaming experience on page 100.
This is the gaming experience chapter. Some, some people playing video games. Yeah, like these are cool. Really neat. Portrait shot. And then on page 124 is sporting characters. That's pretty cool. Yeah, very interesting shots. So in the chapter sporting characters, I thought it was very uh, apropos that he is the artist who did the cover for the Jammet, the Commodore 64 game that I'm going to review in a future video. Um, and it blew me away because I just received that um, basically the same day I received this. So that was really cool to see. And then on the next page, the, the next chapter, Gore grew in dysfunction. And this is, I guess, his take on Gore, which is really cool. Lots of, uh, lots of neat images, imagery. And then on 166, he covers heroes and villains. And the final chapter is Weird and Wonderful on 218. Let's kind of find that for us here. Weird and Wonderful is kind of a kind of a catch-all. That's just might be a good way to describe his entire book. Those look like lemmings, huh? That's really cool. And I'll see in the previous page. Sega Forsk Lemmings cover. Yep, and that's what that is. And then the, the very last kind of sort of pages is the, the backers' names and stuff, which is always flattering. And yeah, my name is in there. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, no, but it's in there. And this is a really neat book. Mine did come a little damaged and beat up here on the corners and on the first uh, couple of pages. You kind of expect that they would ship these with a little more care, but in overall, I'm not I'm not irritated enough to. You, know, you can see how it's bent. I wouldn't send it back, but but. There's, it's right on the edge, like, hmm, you know, you spend 40, I think I backed this um, project for about 49 pounds. So it's expensive enough that you really want it to come in a pristine format. And you can see the signatures on the front, which is really cool. It's part of the uh, backing, the, the level that you back it at. But this is a great book and you can still purchase it on Kickstarter, I believe, and on their website, and I'll provide those links in the description. And then on to the, the little book of Sinclair ZX Spectrum games. This was a book, you know, I, you forget about the stretch goals when you back a project, and I totally wasn't expecting this, this little book at all. And there's a great forward here by Chris Wilkins. And then it goes on, a little description of a bunch of, I don't know if it's all the games, but a, a whole bunch of ZX Spectrum video games. And the system looks really cool. I missed out. 1986, 1985, yeah. The graphics look really good. And, and just the ZX Spectrum itself, isn't it a beautiful, it's a beautiful um, design. I love the colors and the, the rainbow. It's a nice, nice system. So this was a, a nice, pleasant surprise to have received this along with the Fantasy Art of Oliver Fry book. 
And I don't know if they're selling this separately. I would imagine they are. And then the pins that came with the, the Kickstarter. So if you can, I would go out and support support um, Chris Wilkins and Oliver Fry and all these people and see if you can pick up some of these books and you won't you won't be disappointed.